Hello everyone, welcome back to class. In this lesson, we're going to be spending some time looking at how we divide common fractions. So we have two objectives, and our objectives are to divide a whole number by a fraction and to divide two common fractions. Let's just jump right into it. First, we want to ask ourselves, what do we mean by 10 divided by 2? We understand 10 divided by 2 mean, to mean how many times can we take 2 out of 10? And that for most people is very simple. The answer is 5 times. But let's write it out a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here we have 10 round things. So how many times can we take out 2? 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times. Now suppose we rewrite our 10 divided by 2 using a fraction bar. So let's write 10 divided by 2 as 10 over 2. Now this 10 over 2 can be further rewritten as 10 times 1 over 2. So 10 divided by 2 is the same thing as 10 times 1 over 2, which of course is 5. Here it's saying 10 halves, and here it's saying 10 divided by 2, and 10 halves make 5. There's a very special relationship between these two numbers, 2 and 1 over 2. One of them is the reciprocal of the other. So, 2 is the reciprocal of a half, and half is the reciprocal of 2. The reciprocal of 2 is simply to invert 2, that is to write it upside down, and the reciprocal of a half is the same thing, to write half upside down, to flip it or invert it. And so we find a very interesting principle when we're dividing common fractions. To divide a number is the same thing as to multiply that number by its inverse. So if we are dividing 10 by 2, we get the same result as if we are multiplying 10 by a half. Or, let's say that another way, dividing by 2 gives us the same result as multiplying by a half. Now, let's look at it in general. If we are dividing two fractions, a over b divided by c over d, then what we do is that we apply this nice little technique called KCF. Notice it's not KFC, it's KCF. So what it means is this. We keep, we change, and we flip. So we keep the first one, we change our division to multiplication, and we invert or th the number we are dividing by so that we get the reciprocal of it. So we keep, we change, and we flip. Let's try it out on this question. So 6 over 7, we are going to keep it. Divide, we are going to change it to multiplication. And flip means that we are going to turn this upside down. So rather than 3 over 4, we are going to have 4 over 3. And we can simply go ahead now because we understand how to multiply a fraction by a fraction, which is we multiply our numerator by our numerator and our denominator by our denominator. And this will give us 6 times 4 over 7 times 3. And this gives us 24 over 21. This is our answer. So when we divide 6 sevenths by 3 quarter, this is our answer here. We can write this answer a bit simpler by noting that there's a 3 in the denominator and there's a 6 in the numerator, and this 3 can divide the 6 two times. So the 3 divides itself one time, divides the 6 two times, and now we can rewrite our answer a bit simpler by saying 2 times 4, which gives us 8, and 7 times 1, which gives us 7. And note that both of these are answers, just that this one is a bit simpler. These two fractions are equivalent to each other. Let's try that again with a different question. It takes a factory work, uh, a factory three quarters of an hour 
to assemble a finished product. How many items could be assembled in an eight hour day? So we have eight hours and we want to see how many three quarters we can get out of it. So we are going to keep, we are going to change, we are going to flip. We keep our eight, we change that division to multiplication, and we flip the three quarters to four over three. And now we multiply, we can simply say eight times four divided by three, and that gives us four eights are 32, and 32 divided by three gives us our answer. Now let's divide 32 by three. How many threes can we get out of 32? Gives us 10 threes, 10 threes are 30, and two remainder. So we can assemble this and this number of products. But this one won't be totally complete. So in answering this particular question, our answer would be 10. We can assemble 10 complete products. But this is the, the answer that we get from it. Now, when we are dividing mixed numbers, it is important that we change our divisor to an improper fraction. So 5 divided by a half, we can use the same keep, change, flip thing. So we say keep, change, and flip. So we're going to keep this as 5 and say times, let's change this first. Changing this to improper, remember we have to multiply the denominator times the whole number and add the numerator. So denominator times whole number, that's 2 times 1. And add the numerator, 2 ones, 2 plus 1 gives us 3. So this is saying 5 divided by 3 over 2. And now we're going to have it as 5 times 2 over 3. So change this one to improper. Imp to improper. Change to improper. So we want to do that first. It just makes things a lot easier. And then we can simply go ahead and multiply. So 5 times 2 thirds will give us 10 over 3. And that is the same thing as saying 3 and a third. So how many one and a halves can we take out of five? We can take it out three and a third times. Let's try it again on a different question. Here we have them again, mixed numbers. So we want to change them first to improper. So this would tell us that two, four is eight and one, nine. This is nine over two divided by five, one's five and one, six. That's 6 over 5. And then now we are going to apply our KCF. So we keep this one. We change this division to multiplication and we flip this one. Now we can have it as 5 times 9 divided by 2 times 6. 5 nines are 45 and 2 sixes are 12. We can simplify this question. This is our answer. Notice that we can simplify it. There's a 9 and a 6, and both of these numbers can be divided by 3. So if we take our 3 and say 6 divided by 3 gives us 2 times, and 9 divided by 3 is 3 times, then we can have a smaller answer, which is equivalent to 45 over 12. And that will be 5 threes, 5 times 3 over 2 times 2, and that will be 15 over 4. Now notice that both of these are equivalent to each other. And if you want to further break it down as to write this in a mixed form, then how many 4s can we get out of 15? The answer would be 3 4s, 3 4s are 12, and then we have 3 remainder. So how do we divide two fractions? We apply this method called the KCF where we keep the first one, we change that division to multiplication, and we invert the divisor. We flip it. Keep, change, and flip. 
That's how we do it. Remember, you can find more practice papers and past questions and other material to work with on our website at csecmathtutor.com. And please remember to subscribe before you go. Share with somebody who needs to learn and continue to develop and grow as you study and work hard. Thank you for watching.